so there's a quote from Rand that I would like you to comment on. Um, so I'm uh, quoting, it's from a workshop on objectivist ethics and, uh, poli and uh, politics from 1970. Quote, you know the contradiction of international law, the attempt to make the use of physical force, which is war, subject to some kind of laws. You can't. You can agree by mutual consent not to murder pr pr prisoners or not to bomb women and children if it can be helped, but it's an agreement of no great significance because the idea of a war means two groups of men have decided they cannot reach any rational agreement and they resort to force. There can be no laws being observed or not even an etiquette if you consider that men are slaughtering each other and are deciding issues by means of murder. So there's no such thing as don't bombard hospitals. Well, if it well, it is valid if both sides see an, an advantage uh, in it. But the idea of don't murder women and children, I don't think it is particularly relevant if you're murdering men. If it's tactically necessary to bomb civilians during a war, you have to, close quote. So Ankar, how are you, how are you interpreting those words? What is Rand really saying here? I think it's the flip side of a point that I made earlier that what international humanitarian law ends up doing, it ends up um, sanitizing or making, trying to make palatable war. And her point here is that war is the breakdown of civilization. It means when there's some kind of dispute, we have no means, and we've tried other things to try to settle this dispute. We have no means other than physical force. It's a resort, resort as she put it in that quote, um, to murder. You're each trying to kill the other. And the idea that you're going to have some kind of um, rules or even etiquette, in one way she puts it, uh, of you're just going to follow, um, oh, well, it would be uh, uh, unwelcome to do this, so we're not going to do that. It, it's sort of beneath us. It's your, the other side is trying to kill you. And if you have a modicum of self-esteem, and if you view that you're fighting in legitimate self-defense, you'll do what is necessary to defend yourself, to end the aggressor's ability to keep killing you and your um, citizens and your soldiers. And in, if, if that's your context, then it's not that there's no principles applicable to war, but what it does mean is you don't view the other side as oh yeah they're like they're I, they're nice people and we can have some kind of agreement and we can expect them to abide by an agreement. So what, one of them when she said this agreement of no great significance, it's agreement. There's no reason to think the other side would even uphold. So why like if you have to kill each other, what does it mean that you're making agreements with each other about how you're going to kill? each other that, that is so there's something deeply incoherent of one of the ways she put it it's a contradiction and that's part of the contradiction i think there's more to it than that but i think that's part of what she's getting at 